Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, another Guild Wars. Uh, I think we're nearing the end of the current season. So, I'm fighting against Galvador. Let's see, there's a separate Edin right here. I'm not sure if my Zakan will be good enough or strong enough to take out the Edin, but I am betting on it, like entirely betting on it. So we have uh, Arkan right here to hopefully tank the skip from Chalco and the skip from Velfon as well. So Sigmund and Valz, Christina will hopefully take care of them. And we have, let's see, Velfon is plus 10, so that might be quite annoying to deal with, but I think I'm good enough for I Velfern. Uh, Zakan is there to help Velfern slightly because he's gonna create a grave for me, increase my damage and all. So let's go. Uh, apparently Adin is going first. So hopefully this works out. Oh, Velfern charges up. Adin! Ooh, 6,000 damage. Okay, charge up Velfern. Christina! Boof, boof, boof! Yes, that was enough. That was enough. Ching, 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 ching. Ching. Okay. No Velfen! Oh! Ooh. That was painfully scary. Alright, my Velfen might explode from this, I have no idea. It's a Chalcol we're talking about. Surprisingly, I survived surprisingly. Surprisingly. Lee. Okay, Lito! Hooray! We got this. We got this. Oh yeah. Arkan's left alone. There's nothing you can do to my Lucius, Arkan. My energy guard from Velfen was removed. But yeah, that was a scary one. That was a scary one. GG, Galvador. Nice formation right there. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Let's see, who else do we have? Alright, so the next opponent, since no one is attacking this guy, Strobelly. I think I fought him before a couple of times in the Underground Arena, in the PvP. Um, let's have a look at his Guild Wars formation. Okay, so... You see a Mammonair, you see a John. Most likely it's going to be a John Mammonair combo. Tamis is right there as well. So this is not going to be easy, it's going to be annoying as well. Um, for sure. Aaron, plus 10. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, and then we have a Velfren plus 3. A Valz plus 4. Leclis plus 0. Yeah, the Leclis is going to be annoying. Plus 7, okay. Tamis a Venaka. Okay, Tamis plus 10 is going to make Mammonair a lot tankier than she should be. Um, it's going to be not annoying because I think it will remove my stats enhancement as well. Yeah. So that means if I bring in a bunch of supporters, it won't really do much. I will need to bring in Livia for sure. I will need to bring in Livia and Valfern perhaps. So the... Objective here is to take care of all the taunts. Hopefully Livia can get rid of Aaron, get rid of Mammonair. Uh, it's not going to be easy. It, it looks like a cancerous formation to fight against, except that it doesn't have Belief. If that Vals was a Belief right there, it might be a lot harder. So I'm going to jump into, into it and set up a, a rough draft, formation draft of some sort. So let's go. Okay, so this is what I came up with. We have Velfen right here, and then Aaron. Okay, so alongside with Mammonair. This is really scary, the more I look at it. So Lackley's presence, her presence there is going to make a lot things a lot harder. So I can't put Livia at first. I have a feeling she's going to try to stack every, everything. From what I see, John is buffing Lillian, which is kind of weird. It's extremely odd. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a typo, like an accidental click, or it's supposed to be that way. Most likely it's a, maybe an accidental one, it's supposed to be John to Mammonair, but maybe it's just a scare tactic, you know, trying to avoid people from attacking this formation, and then... Venaka, head over to Valfern. Yeah, so pretty annoying to fight against. I'm gonna assume something like this. Zoop. And then Mammonair. 
Lillian charges up and then Mamone. Does that make sense though? It doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. But that's the one that makes the most sense. So if if it was that case, one, two, three, four, five. And then Lacklis would have switched to the other mode, the dangerous status. So I have to I have four turns to do something, right? So one, two, three, four. So that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm doing right here. Hopefully, if my calculation is correct. So rest to Venaka to Valfren to Wiggle jumping in. Wiggle is gonna hopefully help me get rid of the front lines. It's really scary. Something like Chalkle would definitely help as well. But with the amount of taunts, uh, it's just an abs absurd amount of taunts. So I can't put Livia as first. I have to put Livia as fifth. So that might screw up a couple of things, you know? So we'll see. I, I really hope that Velfen dies. If he doesn't, I might be in a... Uh, might not be in a good... Maybe I do something like this, move everything front. If Velfen doesn't die, at least only Venaka will go down with him. Like at, least, at least that's the plan right here. At least that's the plan. Okay, so should I move everyone more front? That's the question. Lacklis has one range, right? So you can silence my Velfen all you want. Will this be better? This is not better because if Lillian actually leaves, she's going to hit a lot of my... all my warriors as well. I don't want that to happen. Maybe this is the best. Alright, after thinking it through, maybe this is the best. Alright, so I'm gonna go in. Wish me luck. Let's go. Let's see if this works. Alright. Venaka Velven. Oh. Wait, the taunt actually works. The taunt actually works. What? Okay, that was my bad. I didn't know. Ooh. I thought Lillian cannot be buffed. What? Okay, I might have screwed up bad right there. I might have screwed up bad. It's okay though. It's okay. I have Valfern. This is not looking good actually. Actually, it's not looking that bad either. Oh. I can still win this. I can still win this. Yeah, I can still win this for sure. Zoo. Oh no! God damn it. We screwed up. Hit Aaron, please. Thank you. I can still win this, but I screwed up hard. Wait, I thought it was Mammonair. I thought Lillian cannot be buff. Okay, so you learn a new thing every day, I guess. Lillian can be buff. I was wrong. You can do a John Lillian. Never thought that was possible. Come on, man. Come on, man. You can do this. Livia! Yes! Okay, at least I got one star. Damn! <laughs> Falling for the John to Lillian trick. Why did I assume that you can't... Lillian cannot receive buff? Wait, I really have to check that. I always thought Lillian cannot receive buff. I have to check that. Like, what? Okay, so there's this skill right here. Mmm... Where does it say? It doesn't say anything. Yeah, this skill right here. Can't receive stats boost skill type. Except immunity. Okay, so she's a finicky one, I guess. She cannot receive buffs in terms of stats boost, right? In terms of increasing her crit rate maybe, crit damage. But I guess she can receive taunt. Huh. I actually did not know that. I actually did not know that. The more you know. Okay, my bad. It was my mistake. At least I still win, right? <laughs> One star. Damn. 
that was a costly mistake. <laughs> it cost me lots of points, but I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this from this video right here, right? That's the whole point. If you guys did not know, now you know Lillian cannot receive stats enhancement. Alright, so specifically stats boost in terms of like those supporters like Ceres that increases crit rate, crit damage. But I guess she can receive immunity. So I guess Taunt falls under that. I'm not sure what category does Taunt falls under. But we'll, we'll, we can have a look right here at John. Jo -jo John. So this advanced Taunt Bestowal, it falls under Taunt. It doesn't fall under immunity. It falls under Taunt. Like, it's just weird, I guess. So it's a unique... It's a different unique thing, I guess. Okay, so the next one, next opponent I'm gonna attack is probably this Japanese, I think. Japanese guy, Japanese name. It's a separate Angelica on her own. We have a Walia to Sayer, and then Lilian, Lucius, Veronia, uh, plus 10 Livia. Okay. Dwen, Jean. I think I can do this. I think I can do this, let's go. Okay, so based on my setup currently, uh, just gonna put like Arkan and Lucius right there. Hopefully that will protect me from all the damage um, and sustain as long as possible before my DPS goes in. So I'm hoping for that. We have Christina and Dwen to get rid of this line and then we will move on to the next one. Let's go. Let's see if this works. Oh, Walia taunt. Oh, Dwen goes first. Zero damage. Zero damage. Taunt still going on. Du -du -du. Dead. Zoop. Still alive. Predicted. I predicted that that would be enough for me to stay alive because it's a plus four Angelica. I have one as well. Without buff, you can't one hit KO. Um, you just can't. Okay. So I think that's good enough. Dwen comes in. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Enough graves? Do I have? Yes, that was enough graves. Po po. 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 Okay. Just gotta be careful now. Gotta be careful. Okay, how am I doing this? Got two charges up. Okay, this is very scary. Am I still in it? I'm still in it, I hope. I hope. Three stars! Perfect! Win! Easy! Alright. Whew! At least I got 400 battlefield points. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. So a bunch of interesting battles right now, this time around. So fighting the guild channel one, that was a fun one for sure. The John and Lillian, definitely the first one that I've seen. So yeah, let me know if you guys have seen that formation before in any of the Guild Wars battle or do you guys think it's a solid one that you want to try out for yourself? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.